just you, you can't put it in a money thing. And I love love you for what you're doing, my brother, and proud to be part of your your life. And, uh, you know, every day that we work together and working with these teams and things like that, I am honored. I'm a veteran, retired 22 years from the Air Force. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Other than that, you know. <laughs> but uh, I've seen Bobby do so much for the for the, for the the kids on Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, he's, he's an icon, you know. He's done so much, and he's, he's a hero in my eyes, always will be. And the same with PX3 company that we work with for the veterans thank you bud i appreciate i you appreciate owe, it. owe you any money for that <laughs> Bobby, do you owe you any money for that really <laughs> i want my ten dollars and a hug <laughs> i want uh, to yeah, uh, we met we, we met about two three years ago at a softball game and he did and uh yeah. in fact the last time that i saw him do a comedy routine i was in an accident trying to get there <laughs> really <laughs> and uh, yeah down in houston yeah i still made it home time to see him and uh whenever he's in houston i always try to go by and, and watch his comedy because he he actually heals some of the veterans with you know that weird sense of humor because right. we're all a bunch of old ex-airborne <laughs> guys and our ideal of a good time is a lot different than the regular <laughs> civilian <laughs> well well but i, I want to uh, but but i want to thank you for calling in the the phone lines are jam packed here, um, but I want to thank you okay. for your service, sir. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right, Bobby. See you later, bro. Thanks, man. All right, bro. Thank you. Uh-huh. Everyone. All right, there you have it, uh, Cambria. Before before I get to Cam, the number to call is three four seven three three eight one seven seven five. You guys want to call in uh, and talk to Bobby and Mister Kyle, uh, uh, Christopher Kyle's uh, father, uh, of the American Sniper. Uh, please feel free and give us a call at three four seven three three eight one seven seven five. Cam, uh, what do you have to say? Yeah, but you know, it's just nice to meet you, Mister Wayne, and. You know, I, I read something the other day that um, actually had a, a photo of your son, and I think this speaks for both you, your son and, and for Bobby. And um, and basically what it says, it says, the true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. And from reading your son's bio and reading up on Bobby, that is exactly the spirit of the soldier from what I'm learning. I, I've seen... And I'm sure this probably has to be a trigger for everybody due to the to do due to the election. Um, veterans are being recognized. I believe the spirit of America is coming back. Um, I don't believe it's going away, and I believe that we are honoring veterans. And you know, I, I know that there's a GoFundMe um, for Bobby. And can you touch on both of you guys? Can you all both touch on what you guys are doing from this point out? And have you seen the type of response, literally in the last nine months, to the support that the veterans have gotten? It's sad that it's taken an election to really bring up, you know, supporting and getting stories out there. Have y'all have y'all seen the the positive impact of? of this election of, of getting um, notice and honoring y'all's lives and, and, and what type of, you know, what type of, what, what can we help you guys with? Cause right now America's on fire to help our soldiers, help our military. So um, what can we help you guys in moving forward from here? I heard Bobby, you want to do what a restaurant, I think it was. Yes. So, you know, what can we yeah, do we'll, with, with your, we'll shoot. We'll, your legacy? How can we help keep legacy alive? Yeah, we'll go with Bobby first and then we'll, we'll go to Mr. Yeah, Go ahead, Bobby. So my new adventure is uh, Biggie's Burgers and Shakes. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a really good burger place out of San Clemente, California. It's owned by a Korean War veteran, Richard Brown. And, you know, he's, mm-hmm. he's had it for 25 years. And he's like, well, what can I do to help other veterans today? And so he decided he's going to train them, give him all the skills he has to franchise the burger joint. But it's more than just a franchise. It's only be with veterans and the veterans as a partnership. So once I mm. raise enough money to open mine, that's what the GoFundMe accounts for, so I can open my burger joint. And when I open it here in San Antonio, what I'm going to do is put a percentage back into a pot that's going to go to another mm-hmm. veteran to help them get one. I'm also going to hire a wow. veteran as my manager. So we're going to give veterans jobs. <clears throat> you know, the old saying, you can give a man a fish or you can teach him to fish and feed him for life. Right. You know, we're giving mm-hmm. a business that's going to carry on to our children and help feed them and, and give them and pay for school, college, all that stuff. So it's just huge. Right. And I want to get this partnership going. And once we got, I mean, San, Alo- San Antonio alone here, military city could handle 10, 15 of these easily. Right. And uh, you know, that 10, 15 veterans, the job, matter of fact, 30, cause they got a veteran managing it, mm-hmm. training to get their own right. and all those places put money back in the pot. 
in the partnership to help another guy to help one up. Yeah. I, I think it's just going to be an amazing uh, chain that can continue to help and, and, and serve veterans for a lifetime. Yeah. If you guys uh, – and uh, Bobby, where can they go? Because I know I have it pinned to the top of my Twitter account. If you go to uh, the Patriot 143 you can see it. It's been pinned to the top for a couple of weeks now. Uh, the link is right there, the GoFundMe link. Uh, but where can they go to dire- – uh, uh, what's the uh, direct uh, – can they go right to your page as well and, and uh, link up from there? Yeah, you can link it up on my, um, from my pages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. It's the Purple Heart Recipient's Dream uh, if you go to GoFundMe. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm always updating it, let people know what's going on, and, and thanking everybody because everybody's contribute is made it possible. And, you know, it's, it's something we're all doing together right. to help veterans. Awesome. And uh, now I want to go to uh, – now I want to go to Wayne uh, – Wayne, um, Wayne, Kyle, um, tell us how can we help you, and uh, and what kind of foundations do you, do you, do you have set up uh, uh, to you know in in honor of uh, of the American sniper Chris Kyle? Well, Chris, uh, our family, uh, my wife and I, and our youngest son Jeff and his wife Amy <clears throat> established a foundation a couple years ago. We call it American Valor Foundation. And the mission was to help all of our veterans uh, who, you know, have, have served, those who are serving, and also uh, our first responders, whether it be police or firefighters. Mm-hmm. Um, to us, they're heroes, too. And then mm-hmm. <clears throat> with that, we went in and we created... Uh, kind of a sub foundation, I guess, or whatever, a DBA, mm-hmm. Chris Kyle Memorial Benefit. Because Chris's name is so well known, then, uh, you know, people, people recognize that. And what we do with that is that we, we identify specific foundations that support veterans. We go through a vetting process and, <clears throat> Before we will even consider supporting another foundation, they have to be what we call a 90-10, which means that they give 90% of what they take in back to helping our veterans. And understandably, they have 10% that they can use for overhead, whether it be you know, internal salaries or, or whatever the case may be. Right. And what we do is we give back 100% of everything that we take in, we will never keep a penny of anything that we take in. Uh, it's important to us. We're, we're honoring Chris, but if Chris were here today, he would tell you, uh, don't look at me. Uh, it's not me. I'm not the hero or anything like that. I, th- I think, and yeah, and I think we I... like to carry up. We like to go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no. I was just gonna say he 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 really got that from he, he really you know uh, that that was his personality you know because you, you were kind of uh, you know you I want to go back to to Chad Littlefield uh, you were pretty upset that you know he wasn't really mentioned during the whole thing and 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 you bring up the fact that Chris Chris didn't want didn't want the the, the spotlight you know he didn't want to shine on him that's why I wanted to mention no. You know. But where, where can people go? Where, well, can, where can people go to, to kind of, you know, uh, support this cause? Like you have a website or something like that? Yes, it's Chris Kyle Memorial Benefit dot com. And you can go there. You can see you know, what we're involved in, who we support and uh, what we're doing uh, next month. The middle of May, we're having our third benefit and uh, we have a tremendous dinner, and uh, that's what we had Bobby come into last year and and uh, entertain the people. Tremendous response, tremendous respect for Bobby. And uh, like you said, it was medicine for everybody. Mm-hmm. And I truly believe that uh, in everything that Bobby does like that, when he helps somebody else, that helps him so much too. Right. Is that right, Bobby? That's very true. It's very healing for myself yeah, uh, to know that I'm making a you know a difference in someone else's life. Still, 
Uh, Bobby, I'm going to go. I got to hit the phone lines. We have a fan of yours that's on the phone line right now. Her name is Veronica from Illinois. Veronica from Illinois, welcome to the Silent Majority. Well, thank you very much. And, Bobby, thank you for your service. Well, thank I you. think I it's a great it, thing that you guys are doing. Um, my daughter just made sergeant, and she's over in the Middle East now. And uh, it's a terrible thing that's going on for all of our military and I just wanted to thank you personally on the phone here. Uh, it, and I'm just overwhelmed by this. I can't believe all the support that's coming in. Thank, well, I don't know. Um, I want to thank you for. I don't know if you've ever heard. Go ahead, dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I just want to thank. I want to thank you. I don't know. If you, I want to thank you and your family for for the sacrifices that you, that, you, that you're making. But go ahead, continue. Um. My daughter joined because I don't know if you've heard of him. He was quite on the news quite a bit. His name was um, uh, Lance Corporal Alec Catherwood. Mm -hmm. He was killed over in Afghanistan. Um, he jumped in front of an eye, a rocket launcher type thing um, and saved his mm -hmm. his battle buddies that were on the on the in the truck in the Humvee. And um, we've helped organize and open up um, something called the Dark Horse Lodge out of Tennessee, and you were just talking about stuff like that. Um, they have no, nobody's employed there unless they're a veteran. They have to, you know, be a veteran, and it's just a, it's a, a camp where they can go and go fishing or hunting or, and it seems to have been doing wonders for these veterans that are, have that PTSD, and they can sit and talk with other veterans and things like that so i think the organization that you guys are doing is awesome and i think we need more things like that well, for our troops yeah that is so true it's the key um mother nature you know those things are healing and just being around someone else who's been through it you talk to each other hey how do you deal when this happens how do you deal i do this i so we help each other out just by talking we open up we're more willing to open up talking to another veteran i mean even the vietnam veterans are talking to us today they're opening up you know because they couldn't so much back then and now they feel more comfortable talking to us and you know i gotta say thank you to any vietnam veteran out there because you guys don't hear it enough and you need to hear it more you're absolutely okay. correct on that uh mr kyle, my daughter chris can i yeah absolutely mr kyle you can go ahead uh yeah you, you, you want to ask uh, veronica something <laughs> Uh, no, I, I was going to interject something, sure. uh, kind of what Bobby was talking about. Oh, sure. uh, Vietnam is, that's my era. That's my generation. And I saw, you know, firsthand what happened when uh, our troops came back and how they were treated. And Horrible. I think, oh, very much so. And I think that they have risen to a point of saying we're going to make sure that this never happens to any of our brothers and sisters in uniform again. And I applaud them tremendously for their sacrifice and what they have done. And I think that the support that, uh, that our troops are getting today, that it is so much better. Camber, you talked about like in the last nine months, and it has, and, and more and more Vietnam veterans are opening up and mm -hmm. making sure that our young people today are given that support. And so we need to always remember all, all of our veterans that the Vietnam were the ones that probably suffered the most, and they never received a welcome home. And that's one thing that uh, we and what we're going to be doing is making sure that our Vietnam vets receive that welcome home. Uh, Camber, you want to respond to that? Yeah, you know, I have to. I have to agree with what he's saying is, you know, the veterans of that era is really pushing a movement. You know, I'm, I'm completely 100 percent pro bono working with veterans television out of Houston, Texas. And um, it's all back. 
by they call themselves the 22 you know million pissed off veterans but they're really <laughs> making a move and they know that they that, let me tell you I, I i love my men i call them, one of them i call my, the viking he's hilarious lynn swanson is the president and ceo of the getty group and um He's like, there needs, there's more that needs to be done because we know what's going on with the VA, the difficulties with the VA. Heck, I'll say it. There's corruption in the VA. So we want to give troops as well another option. Um, and so that's why what, what these guys are doing down here is, you know, putting in, you know, special holistic wellness centers and counseling, not just counseling, not just.